but I was kind of disappointed. You know, it wasn't the best conditioner I've ever used. It wasn't even really that great. It's kind of underwhelming, I gotta say. Hello, I do things, and this is the channel where I do them. Today we are going to be testing out cheap versus expensive hair care routines. Now I gotta be honest, the, the price difference in these routines isn't a whole lot. It's actually three dollars. So let's introduce our cheap hair care routine, which is what I am currently using. So we'll start with the shampoo. It is full and strong, sulfate-free, anti-dandruff shampoo by Beautiful Hair and Scalp. And it has 3% salicylic acid with biotin. Our expensive shampoo is the Redken Extreme Length Shampoo. And I think you can start to understand why the price isn't so different. But let's continue. Our second product is conditioner and it is the conditioner that goes along with the shampoo. It's the full and strong anti-dandruff conditioner with 2% salicylic acid and bite. In the same line, the Redken Extreme Length Conditioner. And for our next product, we have our leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner is from the Quench and Curl line by Rhyme and Reason, and I know what you're gonna say, I probably shouldn't be using it, and you are correct. It is not the best leave-in conditioner for my hair type. So we'll see how well the expensive leave-in conditioner stacks up against it. It shouldn't be too high of a bar for it, but we'll see. <laughs> and next in our expensive hair care products is the leave-in conditioner, which is the Purology Professional Color Care leave-in conditioner which seems a lot more lightweight than the one I currently have. We'll see if it can beat it. And next up is our hair oil. I am currently using the Coconut Miracle Oil by OGX. And last but not least, we have our Whey Hair Oil. So there you go, that's our lineup. And now we'll go ahead and take a look and see how they performed, what outperformed, what underperformed, and which products I will consider adding to my hair care routine. Alright, so to test these products, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my normal wash day as my baseline. So I'm going to use my shampoo, my conditioner, my leave-in conditioner, and my hair oil, and we're going to see how they keep my hair, how my hair goes throughout the next three or four days before I wash it again. You know, I use these products every time I wash my hair, so it's interesting to really analyze how my hair is doing with them. The first thing I realized was, man, my hair is taking forever to dry. <laughs> so the first day, well, either my hair wasn't fully dry or it was still oily. Right from the jump, we got some issues arriving. My ends felt really hydrated and soft and nice and that was good stuff. Um, my roots got really oily really quickly but you know as long as you have a <laughs> a good hairstyle it's like they're not so that's how I get through three to four days of not washing my hair. Yeah so not off to a great start. We'll see how well the expensive hair care products hold up to these inexpensive ones. <laughs> Alright, so I just washed my hair, and so I want to give my first impression thoughts of the Redken shampoo and conditioner. I will say I was surprised with how well the Redken shampoo worked. It lathered up really nicely, and it, I think, cleaned my hair pretty well and uh, didn't make it feel stripped or dry or anything like that. After the shampoo, I was hopeful for the conditioner, but I was kind of disappointed. You know, it wasn't the best conditioner I've ever used. It wasn't even really that great. I don't know, it didn't, it just, I don't know, it, did, it didn't feel the best. I don't know. So, that's how it's, how that went. So now I'm gonna take my hair down and use the leave-in conditioner and see how well that works. That 
that was pretty nice. It um, smells pretty good and it uh, really detangled my hair a lot better than I was expecting. My only pro problem with it is that uh, it doesn't have like, it's not like a misting sort of spray, it's kind of like a kind of spray. Maybe that's just because that was the first time using it, but yeah, I, I would like it better if it misted a little more, so it would go spread more onto my hair. <laughs> I don't know, but that that was good. I liked it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the the whey hair oil. It smells like flowers. You know when you get like a rose petal and you sniff it because you think that it will smell good? That's what it smells like. Rose petals. Alright, so I'll let that dry and then I'll show you what it looks like as the days go by. So far, I like the shampoo, the leave-in conditioner, and the oil. So the shampoo worked great. My hair was a lot less greasy than usual, and I was able to make my hair last almost an entire week, which is not a usual thing for me. It didn't get that greasy either. Still, the conditioner, I would say, is a no for me. It's probably one of the worst conditioners I've ever used, feeling-wise. It might do, like, something amazing for your hair, I don't know, but it just didn't do well for my hair. The leave-in conditioner was nice. It worked. It wasn't as hydrating as I was hoping for, and my ends get really dry, so I need that. It really didn't last. So yeah, that was that was kind of disappointing. The hair oil was good, I think. It didn't really feel like I put anything on my hair. Like, I know I put something on there, and it smelled like I put something on there. You know, it's a lightweight oil, I get it. It shouldn't feel oily or greasy or anything. With the expensive products, my hair dried really quickly and within like three or four hours, it was pretty much dry. But it's, it's kind of underwhelming, I gotta say. They worked fine, the expensive products, they worked fine. Better than my current hair care routine, yes. I'd probably give both of them about a tie. The only thing that won from the expensive side is the shampoo, and uh, the only thing that won on the cheaper side is the conditioner. The leave-in conditioner and the oil, I would say, are about the same amount of not good to good. So, I guess in conclusion, the cheap products won. At least, they won in the fact that I would rather buy them again than spend all my money on these products. And it's only, the only reason why I wouldn't spend my money on these products again is because they're so expensive and also underwhelming. I feel like I could find better drugstore products for a cheaper price than these and I would be fine. Let me know what you think in the comments. What shampoo and conditioner set I should try next, or what hair care product I should try next. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and uh, what you think about them, because these are all my opinions. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully.